hello welcome or welcome back to my channel today is going to be the rubber base application on top of the tips i applied these tips in my previous upload which i will link in the description box for you i applied the tips with the solid nail glue gel and today we are going to be adding some color rubber base on top of them because i like to add a little bit of strength on top of my tips underneath of a color but I also don't like my nails to be clear. I really just don't like clear extensions unless I'm going to be doing art. But I wanted to try out this clear rubber base or this uh, pink rubber base. It's new from Sundara Nails. And I have been just doing like solid color rubber bases. But this one is so sparkly. I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek in that last video. And I will show you at the end what it looks like in the sun. But... Rubber base is my go-to for my natural nails underneath my tips and for just a quick overlay to just give a little bit of extra strength when I'm wearing tips. And it also looks nice if I don't want to put anything on top of my tips right now. So if I want to add a gel polish or a dip powder on top, I can. But if I don't want to, I can just leave it like this for a few days or however long I want and then it'll just stay looking pretty. All right. So we are getting right into the rubber base application. Now I keep this real time for you so that you can see how easy it is to do this rubber base application. Now there are two different ways to do it. If you are wanting to build a little bit of an apex and give some strength, you do one thin layer with like I just showed you like this and then you make sure it's even over the whole nail and then you take a little bit of a glob of it and you just kind of like dab it on near the cuticle line. And then you're going to want to just like push the gel to the cuticle line. And if you see, I zoomed in really far so y'all could see close up. I am not touching my cuticle with this gel. I'm not flooding. I'm not pushing it in there to where it's like up on my skin. I am just getting as close as I can to... The cuticle line because what will happen with that is in my last video I showed that I left a little bit of a gap between my cuticle and the tip that I put on and this overlay on top with the rubber base is going to make it look seamless and more natural and it will this rubber base will also give it just a little bit of strength so what I did was I just floated the rest of it down the nail and then here is what you have now you just want to give it a little bit for it to settle. Um, you can use a liner brush to drag any of the product closer to the cuticle or around the edges if you'd like. I just decided to go ahead and cure it because I was happy with it. Now this is going to be a little the same thing but just a little bit different because it's on my pinky. So my pinky is really small. I mean I have small hands in general. But my pinky is really small, so using the brush sometimes is a little bit harder. So I do think that I pull out my um, liner brush at some point. But you want to just make sure that when you're doing this, you go really, really carefully. Yeah, I just I was out of the frame because my pinky is just so hard to see in general just because it's all the way on that side of my hand and I have to like turn it all the way. But... I tried to stay in frame as much as I could um, for y'all because rubber base if you apply it this way with the one thin layer and then the bigger like glob and you float it it's it makes it to where it gives you an apex and it gives you that strength that added strength but me personally I generally don't tend to do this method I just tend to do two thin layers of rubber base on the nails now you can do it whichever way that you like it's just a personal preference this is how a lot of people like to do it I just like to do two thin layers because I'm gonna put color on top and I don't want the tips to get too bulky because I really don't like thick nails so I just choose to keep them as thin as possible so I don't generally do this method if I'm going to be putting a color over top. But if you want to just wear the rubber base by itself, this is perfect for that. Also, 
With a color rubber base, you do not need to apply a base coat underneath of it like you would a builder gel or a gel polish. You just apply the rubber base as itself because it is a base coat in itself already. It already has that included, so you wouldn't need to add another base coat. I hope that makes sense. You just put it on the tip. So in the last video I did when I applied the tips, I buffed the, the entire surface, I cleaned the edges, and then I wiped with alcohol. And then I sealed my cuticle line with a little bit of acetone off camera. And that's all I did before going into this video. I didn't add a primer. I didn't add anything. I just wiped everything off after I buffed the nail. I buffed the shine off of the tip so that it would be ready for the color rubber base to adhere. All right. So I keep this all in real time, which is why I didn't want to include this in my last video because it would have just gotten way too long. And I just feel like some people are wanting to do tip application or rubber base. So I just split it up into two videos. This one is just going to be the rubber base application in real time. I wanted to just keep it easy, simple, beginner friendly, just to kind of show y'all. So when I do... When I did my pinky, I finished my pinky, got it where I wanted it, got everything settled, got all the gel in place, and then I gave it a flash cure in my uh, either a quick lamp that you have, like a small table lamp, or if you have a full-size lamp, throw it in there for just a few seconds, just to freeze the gel in place. Otherwise, it will run everywhere, and you don't want it to be running while you're working on the rest of your fingers because it is self-leveling, and it will level and run. A little bit so you just want to make sure that as you're, you do one finger at a time and then you freeze the gel for just a couple of seconds while you're working on your other nails if you want to do about 10 seconds that's fine as well also don't touch the gel with your fingers I say that every video and I always end up doing it when I'm not wearing a glove which is why I try so hard to wear gloves on my other hand I've been trying to wear a glove on the hand that I'm working with all right, so here we can see that everything is applied. Everything is looking nice. Um, I think I, my that lighting is different because I have my phone camera on because I wanted y'all to be able to see how pretty it was when I wasn't so close. But now you see, you, if you notice the edges of the nail on the ring finger weren't quite as good as I'd like them to be. So I'm just taking a little bit of the rubber base and I'm putting it on that little palette right there. Sorry, I hit my phone while I was reaching for this liner brush. I'm gonna be taking just a whatever liner brush you'd like. I like to use a really small one and I just drag a little bit of the rubber base down the side. Now, with a foundation layer, I, and I really just want you to know that it is okay to take a really long time. Now, I've been doing rubber base for about a, a little over a year now, so I'm very comfortable with rubber base. Now, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it does get the best of me. Sometimes it just doesn't work quickly. But not getting frustrated and taking your time is really important because once you get that awesome foundation layer, you don't really have to do anything on top of it because you don't have to put a top coat on rubber base you can just let it be let it do its thing and then come back to it later so just wipe this tacky layer with alcohol and you're good to go for a little while <laughs> so and then you can come back and do a top coat or also why I say do one nail at a time if you get really frustrated with one your other nails are gonna be fine because they don't have anything on them they don't have like a gel base or anything on them already so take your time go slow work on the process uh, because I mean, I still do put rubber base on my non on my dominant hand with my non dominant hand. So, sorry, he's letting the dog out. <laughs> uh, but I still do put rubber base on my dominant hand with my non dominant hand. That's something that I'm not very good at. So I just still do try to take my time. So now we want to take the little blob again. Now it's not over like an excessive amount, but you want to put it near the cuticle, but not on the cuticle. And then just kind of like push it back a little bit to the cuticle line because your goal is to get it as close as you can just to kind of keep it natural looking, but you don't want it any product over top because not only is gel on your skin, not a good idea, but think about this. So like as your nail grows out, because it will, the gel on top of your skin 
Well, make like this huge ledge. If it's coming from your skin and it's not already growing with your nail and it's not attached to your nail, when it grows out, if it's on top of your cuticle, it'll have this super huge ledge on it. And then that's when you get like the hair caught in it and stuff like that. So the goal is to have your nails attached to like your extensions attached to your natural nail as best as you can because when my nails grow out I don't have any hair that gets stuck in it they just grow out and they look crazy so then I have to do them because I don't like the the grow out for me that is something that is very hard to look at is like the extreme grow out in my nails so I just don't I usually get to about a week or so and I'm like yeah this is too much maybe about 10 days I'm like yeah this grow out is too much I have to do a fill so I mean, it's really personal preference on if you like that or not, but I suggest always just getting as close as you can to your nail, but don't get up on your cuticle just because it's just not good in a couple, not good in those ways that I had said before. All right. So with the liner brush, you're just going to want to like make sure that everything is looking good. And I'm also flipping my hand over because flipping your hand over allows for the gel to self level um, just a little bit. And then we are looking pretty good. Everything is looking kind of okay, but there's some stuff where I need to fix it. It was a little bit bumpy, but I haven't cured it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the gel around and then just like let it re-self level because I found that um, if you cure it and then go to file it, it's a little bit harder to get it to where you want it versus if you just let the gel do its thing and just wait like 20 seconds or so. It is easier to just wait before curing than try to fix after curing. That's just that thought. So now everything looks okay. Everything's pretty much how I wanted it. Everything looking all right, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Now, I did my index finger as a reel. Um, so I kind of left it. I put the reel in here for how I did it, but I had to do it a different way because I wanted to do a, like a tutorial video of it. To put on different platforms so here is the video of me doing my index finger i do it the same way as i did the other fingers except i don't do it flat i do it while holding this finger rest and i also wanted to show y'all how handy this finger rest is so i'm going to put it on my hand and i am just going to do the same technique that i did for the other fingers but i'm just going to do it angled down where gravity can be my friend Oh my goodness, I'm sitting outside doing this voiceover <laughs> and it just, there's a lot going on out here. All right, so I just put my thin slip layer and you want to try to cover as much of the nail as possible. P.S. I don't do my nails like this. I know some girls like rock this, but I cannot do my nails like this. I have to do it flat and going away from my, my hand. Doing it like this is so hard. I don't know why, but it just is so hard. All right, so now that I got my thin slip layer, I'm going to take that bead. I guess you call it a bead. A bead sounds better than a glob, but we're not working with acrylic, so I don't know. I'm going to stick with glob. <laughs> take the glob of gel and just put it near the cuticle line and then just push the gel up to the cuticle. Not on it, but just up as close to it as you can and then just drag the gel down. Now, I watch a lot of tutorials from people. I love to watch Nails Cat Cat do her rubber base. And then she's got a couple of ambassadors that do it really well. And I just love watching them do this rubber base technique, the side to side swoop. I have not mastered it, by the way, but I just try to do my, do my best because it just keeps you from getting bubbles in the rubber base. And it just kind of helps it to go on evenly and very smoothly. So... One day I'll master that technique, but I like my other way, so I just tend to stick to that. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my liner brush and I'm just going to rub that or like pull that gel into the cuticle on the sides, pull it and make sure that I get it everywhere that I want it and that everything looks really good and pretty much just fix the shape, fix the areas that don't have enough and just kind of take my time and get more precise with the application with the little brush and then once I'm happy with it I like to just make sure there's no gel on my skin I'll use an orange wood stick and I'll go around my skin and just kind of make sure that there's none on the skin so I don't cure it and then flip my finger over cure it and it's ready to go 
So, I mean, that's, I still did this finger in real time as well. So in real time to do one hand is about almost 18 minutes. Now, I understand that I'm a little more experienced. I'm not a professional by any means. I'm all self-taught. So when I first started, it probably took me an hour to do one hand and even longer to do my other hand. So you just kind of got to play with it and just like take your time with new things. So if you're wanting to try something new, I would definitely suggest taking your time with it. Also, while I've got a couple of minutes, I'm going to throw in the difference between rubber base and builder gel. Builder gel is more is stronger. It is for ex building extensions. It is for strength. Rubber base is more flexible. It's for natural nails. Um, it is for an overlay on your nail on extensions. It is not going to be something I use to build a nail because it is just not that strong. The rubber base is what it is. It's rubbery. It gives you a little bit, bit of flexibility so you're not going to have a super bad break. It gives it like a little bit of wiggle room per se. So rubber base is different than builder gel. Do not use rubber base to build an extension. It will not work the same as builder gel. Use builder gel to build it and then rubber base to top it if you want. But there are differences. So we are all finished with the overlay. I did a top coat and now it is time to hydrate. Always, always, always hydrate. I've been addicted to this scent for like two years now and I'm almost running out of my one ounce bottle and I need to get some more because you rain is probably like my favorite scent ever. It smells like spring rain. It just is my favorite. It is from Scales of a Mermaid. It's just been my addiction. So Make sure you oil up, make sure you get underneath your nails, make sure you get everywhere because you just did a lot of alcohol into your nails. So just make sure you hydrate them, hydrate your whole hand. But I went ahead and just did this one real time for you. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking some of your time out of your day to watch this video. If you watched all the way to here, if you could give me like a pink heart, that would be awesome just so I can know if you enjoyed it. Let me know what kind of other content that y'all would like to see. But I have some fun stuff coming up, y'all. Have a wonderful day, y'all. I hope that you maybe consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. I would love to have you here. I am not sure when I'm going to be posting my next video. <laughs> I have to figure out what it's going to be first. But I hope y'all enjoy this one. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And I will see y'all in the next one.